Welcome to this YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel today. So today we'll be talking about um, the visit of Buhari, President Buhari, to the United States of America, and his talk with President, ex-President Trump. So, President Muhammad Buhari has revealed his discussion with the U.S. President. Donald Trump over the killing of Christians in the country. Speaking in Abuja on Tuesday at the first year ministerial performance review with tweets of his second term, Bowie noted he is the only African amongst the least developed countries that Trump invited in the White House. He said the American president asked him to explain why he is killing Christians in Nigeria. Bwari said, I believe I was about the only African among the least developed countries that Trump invited. And when I was in his office, only myself and himself, only God is a witness. He looked at me in the face and said, why are you killing Christians? Wow, this question is huge. <laughs> Let, let's see what he said. I wondered if it were you. I wondered how you would react. I hope that I hope what I was feeling inside did not betray me before him, so I understood it. The problem between cattle rearers and farmers has been happening for a long time, and there was climate change and population growth. I tried to explain to him that it has nothing to do with ethnicity or religion. It is a cultural thing with respective leadership field which respective leadership failed the nation. Wow. Wow. It's like it's more prominent. Like, even in the north, cattle rears killing people in their farmlands. And they just go to their farm and begin to kill people. This is absurd. This is weird. And then, why is not just saying, he's not even saying anything. They are not even concerned about it. He thinks it's, um, it's normal. He thinks just leave them now. The cattle have to feed. Now, we have stories of Muslims going into churches to kill Christians in their place of worship. Boko Haram, bandits everywhere. They now come into churches to kill. This is, this is the height of it. A simple question why are you killing the Christians I think he's feeling guilty that's why he can't even answer that's why he's just going about in a cycle simple why are you killing Christians then if you're not killing Christians why are you not stopping it you are the president of a federation why are you not stopping the killing of it in a particular place what's stopping you from apprehending all those people killing people no, you don't want to apprehend them. You think it's normal. You think it thinks that those cattle they need to eat. So they need to eat. They can't give them a particular place to graze over. They don't have to go into people's farm. Look at the middle belt. People are dying every day in their farm. They'll go out in the morning to look for what to eat. And then though people just wish that they are already dead. They need to look why we need to look into this. If not, this question, why are you killing Christians? will be out. Everywhere now in churches, people, you know, we're just seeing kidnappers kidnapping Christians, killing them. They're just going to the churches and kill them for what? Because they are Christians. You know, we were heard of a story. Some some girls were kidnapped. And then if you are not a, if you are a Muslim, they will not kill you. If you're a Christian, they will kill you. Why are they killing Christians? Is it a crime to have a Muslim as the head of a federation? It's the coin for people to appoint him as the president of Nigeria. If he can't stop it, then why are you the president? You have been given the power and the authority to rule in Nigeria. So you need to stop anything that does not please the masses. Because you are the brain behind it, you don't have the answer to it. You are shocked, right? That Trump, you are shocked that Trump asked the question. 
And now we're saying cultural thing. It's not a cultural thing. If it's a cultural thing, this kind of thing should not be affecting people. You need to stop it. He needs to stop it. Fulani people killing landowners, killing Christians, and he's calling it a cultural thing. It's cause he said it's not a really, that is a cultural thing. This is absurd. I'll be waiting for more of the comments. You can comment on the comment section and let's talk more about this because this is really going, it's, it's, it's going insane. We can't even stay, we can't even feel protected, feel the sense of security even in our own country. In countries like USA and United Kingdom, when a part of their country is being attacked by bandits, before you know it, in some few hours, they, they already arrest all the bandits. But in Nigeria, I've been discussing about this even from the time of good luck. Now it's in time of Bravi now. For him to stop it because he's from their side. He's, he's, he's trying to blame it that it's not, it's, it's not religious. It's not religious, it's cultural. What we hear of Boko Haram killing Christians. They don't kill Muslims, they kill only Christians. We hear of the Chib Chibok girls. They they, 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 oh, like they kidnap children, children from secondary school, primary school, keep them in a place and ask for one song. If you if you de if you deny Christ, if you deny Jesus Christ, that they will let the person go. Is this not is this religious? Why is it killing Christians? Why is why are we allowing them to kill Christians? If he doesn't support this, then he should end this. That's the best option right now. If Rawi is sure that he does not support killings of Christians, then he should stand against it. He should stand up to it and then do everything within his power to stop it. Because why are you a president of a nation where your people are suffering? Why are you the president and you have all the power and authority and your people are not even secured in their own country? Why are you a president? People are still scared. Scared in their own in their own states. They can't even go. Now, because of the killings in the farmlands, they can't even go to their farm to farm and eat. Because there are some cattle where they want to feed their cattle in their farm. They left their own homeland, came into other people's farm, and killed them when they protest against them. This should end. Yes. This is what the masses are saying. This should end. If you know you enjoy this channel, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment on the comment section also. Thank you.